Thank you for watching this video which is going to be uh, looking at the instrument panel app um, that displays signal K data. Um, instrument panel app is, is an app that we uh, preload and include with the iCommunicate uh, gateway um, and that app is, uh, is actually on the micro SD card inside the iCommunicate unit. Um, so I'm going to just uh, do this on a on Windows PC so to uh, access the iCommunicate I'm just going to go to Internet Explorer click on the network and then double click on iCommunicate I mean if you're doing this on a, on another on an iPad or on a Mac it will be slightly different but the approach is the same you open up a browser you enter the IP address of the iCommunicate and up will come the the main uh, home page for iCommunicate now I'm actually going to focus on the instrument panel app but just just while we're here I'll show you quickly the iCompass app that's the other hosted app that we have um, this is a, just a, an app that we wrote it was the first app we wrote just to sort of show off some of the uh, the data features um, so you've got a compass rose here there's no settings as such with this app it, it just it will display the data if it's available if not it will just uh, have a, a blank display but you've got a, a compass rose here I mean we're not going anywhere at the moment we're not moving and it will either show here the heading or the course over ground uh, depending upon what data is available the blue arrow here is the wind direction um, and you've also got the speed down the bottom here uh, if there's AIS data it will list the, uh, the nearest uh, AIS targets at the moment it's just showing the MMSI number here but that will actually uh, start to populate with the the boat names as that start that data starts to come in uh, into the system uh, you've got the depth uh, speed over ground and position um, but uh, it's the instrument panel app that I really wanted to show you today because instrument panel it's written by um, one of the core uh, developers of the Signal K format and it really sort of uh, is a flexible um, uh, web app that will show off all the different data that Signal K supports so if we uh, basically t uh, I went through that without explaining what I was doing and uh, let's go back to the home page so we put the hosted apps um, and this is hosted on the micro SD card that's inside the iCommunicate um, we've got the instrument panel app there, we've got our own Kindle app which I'll do a separate video for and we've also got a, a WebSocket uh, logger app which is like a diagnostics app but the one we're really interested in is instrument panel so let's click on that now um, it takes a couple of seconds just to load up because it's doing quite a lot of data um, handling behind the scenes um, it it's got the IP address of, of iCommunicate there and then we just literally can click the connect button and now it's streaming in all the data, it opens up a WebSocket with iCommunicate and it streams in all the data and it creates a panel for each individual piece of data. Now if there's multiple GPS's or multiple depth sensors it will create a panel for each source as well uh, which is quite useful so if you've got multiple sources of data on the boat um, so that's that's what it does and it just literally scrolls down the screen just creating all the different panels for all the data that it's received the good thing though is that you can go in and you can actually customize this to your heart's content by, well there's two ways, you, you, two settings you have to do, to actually move the panels around, resize them and everything you click on the padlock and you'll see it unlock and they'll go to a yellow and then for instance we could bring up the analog gauges so I'm going to drag that to the top of the screen and then I'm going to go back down and bring up the wind app, just you literally just click and drag and then it will fly to the top of the screen, I'm going to also put the position uh, up there as well and now I'm going to make the analog gauges uh, nice and large by dragging in the bottom corner and the same with the wind and like I say you can really adjust these to your heart's content and get the display that you want um, there you can click and drag any of these, you can have a third column of displays if you want so let's have depth and speed over there so in the top here the text um, is actually telling you where what the source of the data is there so it's uh, depth of blow transducer it's coming from the enemy A2000 uh, network um, so that's how you actually align all the um, panels and set them up at the size that you want them to be 
just fiddle with a few more there now once you're happy you click the padlock and it will freeze those in and it will remember that so next time we run open our browser and run this app it will uh, have the same um, uh, panels sizes and positions and then we'll go to the, the this cogwheel um, icon and now it shows each of the panels and it tells you a bit more about the source of the data uh, so in this case it's navigation heading true um, we can decide to display it or not by unticking the visible uh, we can decide to have a digital or an analog display and we can set the units of measure in this case just degrees but uh, some of the other units will have uh, other options so for instance let's have a look through what we've got um, here um, I'm going to decide to uh, get rid of the, the log readings so get rid of those I'm going to there you go, another log reading uh, I'm going to decide to have the speed through the water shown in knots not in meters per second I'm going to have the rate of turn in uh, degrees per minute um, what else have we got that we could show you um, speed over the ground again I'll have that in knots uh, compass uh, stick with the rows I think depth you can have it in fathom feet <laughs> kilometers and nautical miles I think we'll stick to meters um, and is there a, another something that we can show oh that we can do speed for instance if we wanted a um, let's have a look where is it speed through the water if we wanted to have that as analog um, we can have that as an analog gauge we can set the the maximum so let's set that say to I don't know it's a it's a yacht so let's set it to um, uh, to, well, let's say 20 knots um, red line is not really that critical here but we'll set it for 19 if I get to that speed I'll probably uh, be wanting to <laughs> see me red line it um, and you can also set the minimum value but again we're going to have that as a 0 to 20 um, display so we've made all of those changes and now when I come up to here and I click that you'll see all the the changes that I've I've made um, we've got our um, speed display there as an analog uh, depth in meters so so that's instrument panel um, you can also have a, a second window so um, if we go uh, back to here we can add a second window if we wanted to so if we had you know lots of, of data coming in we could put all of the uh, engine data for instance on one page and have the navigation data on another page um, if you uh, make some changes or add some more equipment to the system and there's more conversions coming in you uh, can make it go out and collect all the new data by just clicking reset all and then all your existing uh, settings will be reset to their original um, the little flashing icon there indicates that there's data being received um, so it's it's a good um, display program um, and uh, it will you know you can with a bit of time spent at the beginning you can really fine-tune it and get it exactly displaying as you want it to be and of course it's being developed all the time uh, there's a number of developers all working on that now uh, new features are being added all the time so I hope that was of interest and uh, I think it's the only video of its type showing off the instrument panel um, but hopefully it'll encourage more of you to to use it or even if you're uh, capable of, of, of uh, writing your programs of, of actually going in and, and uh, helping the developers to, to expand its functionality. Thank you very much for watching.